we're making charcoal here. Uh, this is the first real feeding, so I have made a coal base inside this uh, 15 gallon drum here. And I'm now starting to add wood. And as you add the wood, it heats up and starts to off gas with wood gas, which is what creates flames. Um, but there's not quite enough oxygen in the barrel itself to consume the wood in its entirety. So we let this happen until eventually it's going to overload and uh, put itself out with the lack of oxygen. We'll just have too much wood gas to oxygen ratio to actually burn. Uh, once that happens, we let it sit until uh, the wood itself recatches and you'll see ash forming and then we put on more wood so we're constantly adding more wood than uh, the fire can actually handle and burying the coals under fresh wood so um, blocking more oxygen and we just keep going until whoa there's starting to overload now um, keep going until the barrel's full and then we put the steel plate on top with a rock and let it sit for a day or two to cool off with no oxygen um, if you open it up too soon, the whole thing will just combust, burn up. So um, this is the slow process of making charcoal by hand. And once I get enough of it, uh, I'll start making my own steel. So this is the second feeding of the fire, making charcoal. Um, you can see it's putting off a lot of fumes, which is, you know, we think of it as smoke, but it's not. This is actually wood gas. And as the wood is combusting, you see the smoke goes away, there's f flame now. I don't know if the video will show it, but the flame burns, heats up all the wood in the can, uh, which makes it all catch on fire, and then it uses up its oxygen. So then it's only off-gassing um, into that cloud, which is actually really flammable. You have to watch out for explosions here, but uh, this is how we market charcoal. Uh, we keep doing you'll naturally do this cycle of burning, off-gassing, burning, off-gassing uh, until it catches totally on fire where there's, and that tells you that the oils in the wood and other organics that would be uh, combusting are used up and it's charcoal. So we bury that under another batch of fresh wood burning charcoal heats up the wood on top of it it starts burning and uses up the oxygen that would be keeping the fire below it going so then it goes out um, and that's how you build charcoal uh, so video number two of charcoal making and uh, only the second feeding so there'll probably be four or five of these until it's full and then I'll put the lid on it and snuff it for good this is the third fill of the charcoal burn so you can see you can see the wood is kind of uncharred at the moment. It's still heating up with the coals from the, the second loading. Um, but you can kind of quickly see, I don't know if you, well, it, you should be able to see that the wood is heating up. It's really hot in this barrel. Above the temperature, wood needs to burn about 500 degrees. And, uh, well, now it's off-gassing. So I cut that perfect timing so you can see that happen and now it will start its cycle again. So it's flaming right now, and as the flames heat it up, it will start to off-gas and produce too much fume for the oxygen, limited oxygen in the barrel to burn, and it will put itself out, and it will just keep cycling. So that didn't smoke exactly. That's wood gas coming off that you're seeing right now. That's wood gas. It's flammable. It's explosive, actually. All right, so this is, I think, the fourth filling. Um, as you near the top of the barrel, uh, because of more air being getting to the fire, you can add more and more pieces of wood per filling. So um, you can see I have this pretty well just packed all the way to the brim. Uh, half the barrel is full of coals now. So packing this full of wood uh, is starving the coals that are underneath this pile from getting any oxygen. So it's putting those out and leaving them charcoal as all this heats up and is catching on fire. Um, and as you can see, it is burning pretty well. Plenty of oxygen being out of the barrel right now. 
but as it heats all this wood up once again it's it's going to start doing its cycling of heating it up creating too much wood gas to actually combust and it will go put itself out and uh, cycle back and forth between burning and just off gassing so this is still the fourth feeding this is only about I don't know two two three four minutes uh, from actually feeding it and you can see how it's totally burned down to charcoal and trying not to shake the camera too much here if I get a stick I can just show you these pieces down in here are totally just charcoal now you can just pop them right apart so the wood gas and volatiles are burning off and it's just concentrated uh, carbon it's charcoal uh, that was to hopefully knock it down, get it to settle down. I'm going to feed it one last time after this and then snuff it out with the big plate that's over there. Fifth and final feeding of the charcoal fire. Um, as you can see it's, it's, it's getting hot. It's hot enough to burn. So this is just wood gas coming off. Once this is really burning and now it's because it's on the top, it'll act just like a normal campfire. So if I let it stay open, it would just burn down and all the way down to the bottom of our pile. So once this is burning a lot of flame and hot and everything's good and charred is when I will put the lid on this the steel plate with a rock and let it sit and it'll burn out all its oxygen and it will smother itself under the lid. Um, and then we just have to wait until it's dead cold so that can take up to two days uh, we have a lot of insulating matter here that would love to burn with just enough oxygen. You open the lid and it would all combust. So it has to sit there covered for a long time until it's totally 100% cold. Um, can't use water to put it out. You destroy your charcoal. It has to smother itself. So this is the last burn and uh, we'll have charcoal in a few days. So here's another shot of the last loading of the charcoal burn. Uh, I thought it was actually really interesting to see exactly what I've been talking about as the fire on the right where the wind is giving me a lot more oxygen. If you look on the left, you can see the, the wood vapors coming out of the burning wood, but it's not actually creating a flame there until it mixes with oxygen coming across the top and then burning uh, on the right. Um, so that's that's literally we're just playing with that science right there is once wood gets hot enough it releases fumes that are actually making the flame and it has to have oxygen fuel oxygen and heat mixture to create burning so we're just playing with this and starving one of our three in the form of oxygen straight charcoal so uh, once this gets all burnt down and good and charred then I'll probably see a good amount of ash uh, on this top layer uh, and then we'll cover it with a plate and smother it.